One more thing I just wanted to show you. The reason why I've asked you the bank thing, I know I skipped to question two, but it's really interesting to see how much the interest rate actually matters depending on how much you have. So for example, let's say we've got a thousand bucks. And let's say I'm just gonna keep this for the rest of my life, 40 years. And let's say, like, I don't, I'm not gonna add any more into that account, right? So we'll say that the interest rate is, say it's like 3%, okay? So after 40 years, let's see how much I get. How do I generate this thing? Okay, so at the end of that, the total savings is how much? So how much do I get at the end of this 40 years? Yeah, $3,000, right? So this is at uh, over 40 years, I just put $1,000 in the bank um, at a 3% rate, which is kind of fair. Um, most banks do lower than that now. Let's say hypothetically we could get 10%, like that's pretty high, you probably wouldn't be able to get that. But what happens? Right. So interest rate, I'm just going to triple the interest rate, because right now it's 3%, can you see that? It's 3% here. If I triple that rate, or a bit more than triple, see what happens to the actual savings. How much does it increase by? Right? You're not getting three times the amount of savings, you're getting like how much? Yeah, a lot more time, like almost 20 times more. Right? And we've only tripled the interest rate. And that's because the more money that you put into the account, the more money it's going to make for you. But it doesn't grow at a rate you'd expect, it grows what we call exponentially. Right? We saw this kind of curve that was happening um, last lesson, we called it an exponential curve. Okay? And that's because you can see. As the amount of years go on, the amount of money you're getting is a lot more okay, than you'd expect. Last thing, um, these are iPhone sales since 2007 and close right. Um, 11 years ago, there wasn't an iPhone, so we would have had zero million dollars in sales. Um, but over here, uh, you can see the first year we had 3.7 million, and then you can see that each year it's increasing by a lot more than it increased the previous year, right? and that's because the smartphone. Um, I guess trend or you know kind of movement was kind of growing and more people could afford them or more people thought they were useful until they've reached a point here. And you can see that, that the growth, right, we can sort of try and describe that as an exponential type of growth. Okay. Cool.